Morning all. <laughs> Claudia Webb. Claudia Webb's at it again. Ladies and gents, Claudia Webb is at it again. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> she is absolutely tonto, isn't she? She is radio rental. Uh, first of all, this story, I'm going to use The Guardian for this source. Uh, obviously, I'll put them all in the links. Just remember to please set up an ad blocker because if you're going to give The Guardian money, if you don't have an ad blocker set up, when you go on the Guardian website, you might as well set up a direct debit to ISIS, <laughs> right? Because you're basically funding terrorism, right? You should feel guilty. If you inadvertently give the Guardian a penny, you should be sobbing yourself to sleep at night. Y you might as well go out and rape a nun. That <laughs> that's how immoral you are if you give the Guardian money. But let's just do the story, shall we? So Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. This video is going to take longer than it should do because Claudia is such a living nightmare as a politician that she is never out of the news. She's never not causing a scandal for a, a very obvious reason that I'll explain. So this story is Claudia Webb, famed feminist, right? F legendary feminist, sender of tweets like, Women should not have to fear for their safety. Walking alone at night, Sabina Nessie did not make it home. Her murder is a reminder of how our lives are controlled daily. Violence against women must end. Listen, listen. I don't want to make light of a horrific murder and there's nothing good about what happened to this poor woman. But that tweet fully explains the lunacy of the position of the far left. The lunacy of it. Human nature dictates that there will always be acts of violence. You can't say, oh... Her murder is a reminder of how our lives are controlled daily. Violence, all violence must end. Well then, the only way to end all violence is to control our lives daily, isn't it? Humans are inherently volatile. We're emotional, reactionary, evolved chimps with clothes on. Some people commit horrific acts of violence and they always will. The only reasonable and logical conclusion to deal with violence is not through insane proclamations. It's by teaching people to take as many precautions as they can, always try and err on the side of caution, aggressively prosecute criminals, lock them up for a long time when people are found to be predatory, and train women or people that are vulnerable, even men, right? If you're a weak man, you are at great risk of violence or mug or being mugged or raped or whatever from men that are stronger and scarier and predatory. It's not a problem of violence against women. It's a problem of human nature. And it's not something we can ever get rid of completely. Even in countries like Singapore and Japan, occasionally you get grisly murders because we're a flawed creature and we can't ever stop it. And only people who are insane left-wing autocrats think you can stop it. Like, yeah, we can just end all violence. All of it. How? How are you going to do it? All wear microchips on our heads and have CCTV cameras strapped to our face. Maybe we could end it then. Maybe. But loonies will still do sh murdering and raping. It's madness. The pragmatic approach to crime is the way we've been doing it for the last 30 years. Well-trained police, plenty of law enforcement officers, politically neutral law enforcement officers. You can't stop all violence and you'll never be able to unless we live like androids. The only way to do it would be to lobotomize all the men or keep them inside 24 hours a day, which some left-wing labor activists have obviously advocated because they're all completely off their tits. Claudia is an example of what happens when people get selected for a position purely because of what they happen to be, and not because of merit, intellect, common sense, or generic usefulness at all. She's an idiot. An idiot with a head like a foot with a face drawn on it. He is the, the reason she was introduced into politics. Because obviously, we weren't perfect on race relations in the UK. I'm a reasonable centrist chap. I know that we weren't perfect. I know that in some ways, we did disadvantage minorities back in the, in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. So we're now doing an overcorrection. It's human nature. It always happens. You see a problem, you fix the problem, you go too far, and then you end up marginalising a, a completely different group. And that's all we've done here. I do understand it. I'm not massively having a go at the state for forcing us down this track because I understand the root cause of it. But the overcorrection has occurred and we need to get back to common sense and treating people fairly. It's all you need. You don't need equity. You don't need mathematically accurate representation to the percentile point. 
for every single immutable characteristic you can think of. We don't do it with gingers or people with size eight feet. You just need reasonable fairness. And we don't have that anymore. And that's why when you come up with all BAME, all female shortlists, you're dragging people in and forcing them to run and you're not living in a meritocracy anymore. It's so obvious. If the Marines said, right, we have to have at least 49% black women in the Marines, and then you made it happen, you would have to lower the fitness standards because it's already 90% of people aren't strong and fit enough to do it. So by definition, you remove the meritocracy, and then you end up with this total bollocks. People who are not necessarily the most intelligent. Some black females are extremely intelligent and qualified. But if you're going to make an entire shortlist out of them in a country that's only about 3% black female, by definition, you're not getting the best people. And that is what happened here. When Heidi Alexander stepped down to become London's deputy mayor, they were forced to pick a BAME female shortlist to ensure that the Labour Party had 50-50 gender balance. It's madness. Just pick the best people. If they happen to be women, nice one. But if they happen to be a hairy ass man, well, that's good if he's the best person for the job. So that, if nobody knows, is why this train wreck is a politician. She's not bright. She's not intelligent. She's not hardworking. She's not honest. In fact, she doesn't have basic common sense. Look at this classic. Does everybody remember this one? Thank you very much. Claudia, you wanted to come in. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. And I hope I'm not going to be asking questions that you have already answered. But let me um, just start with a quick file one on... on... <laughs> so she can barely speak. She can barely speak. I want to be a politician. Can you speak? Eh, barely. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Lavoose, as we've just spoken about that, why does the government not consider legal action to be necessary in the case of Belarus? In the case of, I didn't catch the name. Belarus. So why, so, why don't we consider, sorry, what? So she doesn't know how to pronounce Belarus. <laughs> she said Belarus. Beru where the, where's, where's Belarus, Claudia? Can you point to that on a map? She couldn't find Wales on a map, let alone Belarus. You might as well try and find Wakanda on a map, you dippy mare. Legal action. On why, why doesn't the government, why does the government not consider legal action to be necessary in the case of Belarus? What is the legal action that you're proposing? Well, I, I mean, I'm asking you the question. Yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 I mean, does the, does the you, government who, who, consider who, who, legal action to be necessary at all? Sorry, forgive me. I was, what I was trying to clarify is who do you want us to sue and where? Well, does the government do you agree that the situation in Belarus requires an intervention from the, from the UK? Can you clarify who you want us to sue and where? Uh, de -be -de -de -be 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 you, I mean, what was that, Claudia? You don't know anything. And that's a Labour councillor, Matt Dent. It's seriously impressive to manage to make Rab look like this much of a statesman and intellectual. <laughs> I still don't get what the question... Yeah, what is the question? Absolute plank. Absolute plank. I wouldn't let you run me a bath, Claudia. I wouldn't let you microwave my microchips. <laughs> and what else have we got? Like I said, I can go all day. MP broke rules with late declaration of his linking payments. She's... Bent as an £8 note. Failed to declare ongoing payments from a council, Islington Council for more than half a year. And also, she's thick enough where she thinks she can get away with it. Like Parliament, like politicians don't get the finances checked because the great British public knows how much of a bunch of dodgy, thieving rat bastards they all are. She's an absolute moron. So she's a thief, a liar, a crook, a cheat, and to top it all off, an idiot, a log, a plank. And best of all, like all feminists, like, like all feminists, she's a hypocrite. Because it turns out this feminist is now accused of threatening to throw acid in a woman's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love Trump's hate. Love Trump's hate. Shh. Aye. Yeah. Love Trump's hate. Turn your partner's ex into Rocky Dennis. I don't think that's love trumping hate. The reason for the harassment appears to be the fact that Ms. Merritt was friends with Lester Thomas. All right. So she's obsessed with a bloke. 
This other woman's friends with him. So uh, Webby wants to burn his face off. That should be a name. Wildcat Web. Wildcat Web. Face melter extraordinaire. She also said she threatened Miss Merritt that naked photographs and videos of her would be sent to Miss Merritt's children. Oh my, she's like a Bond villain. She's like Fred West on a particularly bad day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when you don't select for skill, conscientiousness, hard work, talent, or intellect. You get Wildcat Webb, the Lewisham face melter. <laughs> I could go on. I could go on all day. But I think we'll leave it there, shall we? That's more than enough to be getting on with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at 7pm for UK. Cheers.